lot of really good ideas, so my name's Amanda Irons, and I'd like to share mine. So it's a savings app called SaveSum. Essentially, it's helping users by incentivizing their financial goals. Now, the problem. I'll be the first to admit I suck at saving money. Like, I'm really bad at it. I know I want to buy that concert ticket, and I know the concert's coming up in three months, but the idea of just taking $20 out of my very small budget just seems overwhelming, and it seems like, oh, but that's rent, but that's lunch, but that's PG&E, which I still have to pay. And so I'm someone who has savings gold, but I don't necessarily have a lot of money. And if it was just easier to save, I'm convinced I would save more. So John, you've been taking entrepreneurship classes at Chico State for a while, is that right? Yes, sir. I've been working on Rupert eight months. Eight months, eight and eight do months, you have partners? Yeah. I have another partner, I have two other partners, uh -huh. software developer and a marketing and social media coordinator. So what led you to come up with a game that, what is it, it's, com it's ro robots against It's robots monsters? and monsters playing volleyball with rockets. And That's a very good idea, I like that very much. <laughs> the whole concept behind it was, um, it's just, we grew up watching a lot of giant monster movies, and we wanted to do something with that premise, but not make a fighting game. So uh, we kind of landed on this idea of what if, you know, the military is hitting them with rockets, but they ended up just making a game out of it and punching the rockets around. So, I, gentlemen, congratulations. This has been a long time coming for you, Austin. This is, I think, the third contest you've entered, isn't that is right? This is the third one. So you finally made it to the top. Yeah. Very good. Congratulations. I am very impressed with the fact that, first of all, with your stick to itiveness. Austin has been keeping at it and keeping at it, and this is a great example of combining engineering with a business major. Chase, I understand you're a business, an entrepreneurship major, is that right? I also graduated as an entrepreneurship major. Very good. How do you feel about winning? Um, honestly, pretty lucky and surprised. I really do. Uh, uh -huh. I owe a lot of my presentation tonight to Dr. Rob. Um, she helped me kind of uh, take an abstract approach, which I think really helped me. Without any further ado, though, I want to introduce you to Catherine Schiffer. Yeah. So, so everything leads to everything else. That's probably the theme here that I want to explain. In 2012, I took a flyer and raised some money, $400,000 in seed funding. You do as many internships as you possibly can, because I guarantee you, you're not going to learn anything I won't say you won't learn anything in class, but it won't mean anything until you see how it connects to the business world. Catherine, I want to thank you for coming and appearing at eWeek. It's been really great hearing your story. We were especially interested in how you raised your money from primarily female investors. Well, um, it's, very, it's been a very interesting experience for me. I understand you hire a lot of students who originally people who went to Chico State who are rising through the ranks. Tell me what it's like to employ recent graduates of Chico State University. Well, I'm, I feel very fortunate to be exposed to them um, at various levels. In other words, I honestly see a vow. I convinced my prospective board and the investors that I should keep my job teaching because mm -hmm. it w gave me access to talent. I want to thank you for coming to Chico State, or you're already here, but coming back. <laughs> Research and programs, and we actually found that we could use this, although initially we want to record all this data and do research and analytics, that's far down the road. We can have trust to help stop the spread of disease actually become the spreaders of stuff. This allows us to get our product into the market faster with minimal risk and really gauge our traction at an early start. Hello, everyone. My name is Clayton Taylor, and I'm the CEO and founder of Athletic Board. I founded Athletic Board with the idea that no youth athlete should ever have to worry about injuries. So walk me through the cost. So if you have doctors and athletes, how do you pay them? I mean, what's your margin? What's um, like? what so like? the question was the costs with the professional athletes and the doctors. Um, so with our professional athletes, what's really cool about the athlete that we already have, we have Lance Blankenship won the 1989 World Series with the Oakland A's. It's a um, service that's also another current startup that's focusing on 3D encryption. Users will be able to see brewery information, which includes taproom hours as well as tour details. 
They'll also be able to view events that are upcoming and nearby to them. They're a little bit harder to nail down a, a number of how many artists actually exist in this country. There's a lot. Uh, but when we look at the numbers for troubled teens and for domestic abuse violence victims, we can't put numbers on them. So I have over a million teens in America who are looking for um, an outlet that's much more creative and effective. It goes, this is $1,500 plus $6,500 of scholarship to the Boot Up Academy, and this goes to MixMath. The company is a mix mat, uh, and uh, it's a product that's a concrete mixing device. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and what does it do? I mean, how does it work? Um, well, it's a very, very heavy duty but malleable fabric that's shaped like a bowl and has these really durable handles on it, and it's used to substitute a wheelbarrow for concrete mixing. So you dump concrete in, you dump some water in, you don't need any other tools, and you just shimmy, shimmy, shimmy either by yourself or with another person, and then uh, you have concrete mix in less than a minute.